Blacker, Citadel Defense. Uh, today, so this is part three of kind of my red flag orders. And uh, this part exists not because I'm super worried that people uh, are going to, like I said, show up to my house tomorrow to, to take my gun. But this part exists kind of as an evolution of where this thing goes, right? So in the first part, we talk about what red flag orders are. The second part, we talk about being politically active. And now we're saying, okay, <clears throat> you know, let's just say, and, and this video exists primarily because I have discussion with this realm with my friends, and, and I'm trying to think through this, and I think you should think through this. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you found out what red flag orders are, politics failed, and now, for whatever reason, uh, because these orders exist, they show up to your house to take your guns. How are you going to deal with that? Uh, I think there's, there's, there's two general routes that I can think of that you can go down. Um, the first one, which is what we're going to talk about in this video, is, is the stand your ground uh, philosophy, right? This is the from my cold dead hands thing. Uh, or I think as Clint Smith said, if it's time to bury your rifle, it's time to load your rifle. Uh, when I have sympathy there, right? My heart uh, honestly gravitates towards that position. I don't necessarily think it's the most tactically wise position. We're going to talk about that uh, in this video and the next video. But I think the first thing you have to decide before you decide that, right, is what is winning, right? They show up to your house to take your guns. What is winning for you? Well, how are you going to win that situation? Now, maybe your answer is, Dylan, there's, there's no winning at that point. There, there's, there, you've already lost. And I, I would probably agree with you. But what I mean is, what is the desirable outcome? Given the circumstance you're finding yourself in, what is the best outcome for you? And, and some of you might say, well, you know, Dylan, I don't give a damn. Uh, I'm going out guns blazing. And, and I think that's where this, this position comes in, right? But if, if winning for you if, you, if I ask that question, your thought is, man, winning for me is, is just making it out of there alive, well, then, then maybe compliance is the best issue for you, right? Um, more on that in the, in the next video. But uh, I think you have to decide that. You got to decide that for you. What, is, what does winning mean there? You know, I, I, I have friends, and like I said, I tend to gravitate towards the, I would rather die than give up my liberties, right? If you want my guns, come get them. Uh, like, I, I understand that, that philosophy, and, and like I said, I, I feel... Like, my heart gravitates towards that. That being said, uh, me getting uh, shot to death by 12 policemen inside my front doorway with my two kids and my wife watching might not be the best option, right? So, <clears throat> first option is, look, stand your ground. Uh, you're, you're, there's no way you hand your guns over, period, and you'd rather die first. I, I think, honestly, and, and we can talk about this, but I think there's some valid points to be taken there um, to, to be able to draw a line in the sand and say here and no further and that's it um, because unfortunately with the way these these laws work a lot of them is that like, like I said there's no there's no due process there's no follow-up if they get your guns that's it you're probably never getting those again maybe you can buy new ones maybe not depending on how the court proceedings go after right but in the moment when they take them that's it they're, they're gone you know, even if even if it's a temporary, right? I mean, they're they're not coming back. So, that's that's the option one. Stand your ground, fight to the death, go out guns blazing. You know, you see the cop cars or whatever, you throw your plates on, and, and you're not going anywhere. That that's that's an option. Okay. Uh, next video here, part four, we'll talk about the second option, which I would argue is probably the more tactically wise option. Until then, do brave deeds and endure. I'll see you next time.